All right, we need I to. I believe he's present in the courtroom. Okay. I can explain, I think, Your Honor. Is he in the court, or do I need to get on court call? We have a certified interpreter in the courtroom. I think there's also one on court call. <laughs> okay, let's. Um... The one who's here is, I don't know, maybe we can approach. To... Yes, okay. please do. What is up, it's Mel, and we have an update with regards to the shooter from yesterday from the University of North Carolina. He was seen in court today, and it was talking about the bond hearing and the charges. But September 18th, there's going to be a discovery hearing, which should be interesting. Before we watch today's hearing, just to get into a little bit of background information. So Chi, the shooter, was charged with first-degree murder and also having a gun on education property. And apparently they're saying he actually knew the person that he shot and killed, which maybe it's not that surprising. The victim was identified as ZG Yan, an associate professor in the Department of Applied Physical Sciences who had worked for UNC since 2019. The two knew of each other, UNC Police Chief Brian James Ted on Tuesday. He was a grad student in the same department as Yang with his faculty advisor, according to Keys or Chi's UNC biographical page which has been deleted, but is available on the internet's archive Wayback machine. Everything's always forever. As they say on the internet, he entered the school in 2022 and listed his previous education as Louisiana state university and Wuhan university. Now I remember yesterday when people were mentioning Wuhan in the chat, I honestly thought people were trolling. No, nah, that it was, they were for, they're right. They were for real. Now this seems to me like targeted, you know, seems targeted. Obviously, I guess one person. Why? What was their beef? What was their issues? Why did they kill this person here? She's on the left side. That's the shooter. And on the right side is ZG. If I'm saying that properly, he's the victim. And so he walked into the courtroom wearing orange. We're going to watch all this. So we'll get to that after. He is a citizen of China and is in the United States on a visa. District Attorney Jeff Neiman said. Neiman said the gun possession charge was related to a nine millimeter handgun. The firearm used in the shooting has still not been recovered. Okay. He faces a minimum of life in prison without parole for the murder charge and up to two years for the weapons charge. The maximum sentence for first degree murder in North Carolina is the death penalty. But Neiman has said his office policy is not to seek the death penalty. All right. So they are given condolences to the family. This the victim is a father of two young children. Now, before we get to the next part of this before we watch the hearing because there's some interesting posts which we're going to talk about which i even said yesterday i don't know is this guy uh incel too early to tell but i was kind of we're going to see some of these posts he kind of looked like it sometimes you can see these people i know it's kind of judging and stuff but you sometimes i don't know some of the incels have a look to them before we get to that i just want to mention that i have a legal situation going on i just want to keep spreading this around for the people that don't know on my channel I'll put the link in the comment section in the description. You can check out the information if you're curious to know. There's also a Google document here that you can click and it has the um, court filed documentation, the lawsuit complaint. If you want to go read it for yourselves, it's about 30 pages. There's exhibits on there. Or if you just want to share my link out to help me out, I'd appreciate that. So let me start out with this part. Daily Mail has more posts. There's one that the other article has that we'll get into as well. But T, August 18, 2022, just have a talk with my PI, private investigator, I assume, and get his promise. He should have more experience to handle with these girls and tattletales. Then we can just get ourselves out of these stupid topic. Let's just focus our attention on nature. I won't change anything if not necessary. Okay, November 12th, 2022, last semester I walked. 80 hours plus per week and i feel relaxing and energetic now i only work 60 hours plus week and i feel tired just because i spend too much time to persuade myself that i work just out of interest instead of to show others i am working october 31st 2022 both the group of people to say i am lazy and to prove me working hard instead of telling me that i'm trying that i are trying to consume my privacy Judge their motivation is only to tell my PI they control me by tail telling. So obviously there's a barrier in language here. What is he talking about his PI? What, what exactly is going on here? 
when this kind of girl shows her best to beg others to help me, all people look down on me. Kind of angelic bitch. Realize universities of the same rank in China and U.S. correspondingly have almost the same atmosphere. The mean level of students is almost the same. The only difference locates at their top students. Students from Chinese students all looks the same and limited distributed. Um, this other post here as well. He said, bully in America seems to be a problem. It often comes to people not stopping them at first. Explanation is not a solution, but makes them feel others will plead with them every time they raise a problem, making them voyeur to find an excuse day and night. So Yan, which is the victim, led the research group which Chi joined last year, according to the group's UNC webpage. He earned his PhD in materials engineering from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York. He previously worked as an assistant professor in Clarkson University. He is a grad student in the Department of Applied Physical Sciences who studies nanoparticle synthesis and light matter interaction. So you can see them here together in a picture. The second right is Chi, and on the left is his academic advisor. The other thing, and by the way, when he was arrested, so apparently I was reading somewhere that like he had gone in there, killed the victim, and then went back to his the area where he lives, around the area he lives, I believe. So he was on the ground about a mile away from the campus. And this is some video of people actually jumping out of the building. Oh. Dude is jumping out of the windows, you know. Wow. Approach. To yes. Okay. Please do. So, in an attempt to be helpful, I knew that there was an interpreter that they had brought in, the FBI had brought in to do this interrogation. Okay. Um, I talked to the sheriff and found that all in our, I think it's a bad luck to have the same interpreter who's been walking out. It's a bad look to have the same interpreter, and I couldn't hear the rest. I understood. I understand that. I just want you to know I didn't. I know I, know, I was I transparent know. with Miss Graves about this all the way, and it was never intended that it would be someone who would interpret for a confidential conversation. It's just that it was the whole reason that is there was the strong uh, preference, all things being equal, that we that someone in the room would be better than someone on court call. Again. And my question was just about like the ethics of the interpreter. They felt like they he's talking to, your, yeah, mm. he's talking to your right now. Um, we're going to ask Mr. Interpreter for you not to speak with Mr. Chi right now. Mm. So I'm going to ask you not to speak with Mr. Chi right now. Thank you. Oh, he understood that though. I mean, I know on social media he was speaking English, but it was broken English. So of course they probably don't want this person to say he didn't understand anything. So they have a translator for him. And who knows what kind of, I wonder what kind of conversations they were having just, because he's just a translator, right? So what kind of, I don't know. Yes, um, I just. And part of the word we got crossed is, is that the person at the FBI, I think innocently. No, I believed, don't think it's malicious. I believe it's that not a good idea. She said, oh, we've been contacted by AOC and we can send somebody. I think that. I'll tell about who? AOC? What happened is she'd been contacted by someone from the conference of DAs or something that I called for help, someone else that they thought was AFC. Do you want to weigh in on this? I mean, that thing's being me thought. I'm going to have someone in the courtroom, however. I would rather have somebody in the courtroom just because of the technology, like all the problems with technology. And what they said was is that from their side, they would not cross the line of doing a confidential conversation, but their their ethics say it's okay to do the open court part. Okay. So okay. this is going to be really straightforward. We're not asking. Okay. Okay. Just for that. Okay. okay. As long as he's AOC certified. I've been told. Okay. Yes. No. So Mr. Chow. Chow. Yes. Mr. Chow, could you approach the bench, please? Oh. Hey. I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Chow. And are you AOC sir, as an AOC certified interpreter? I mean, the, I mean, the CAOC registered and 
those are all kind of according to this okay. contract and this text. I feel like that's sufficient. Yes. Okay. 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 Just double checking. Sure. Wait. AOC means the Administrative Office of Courts provides interpreting services for individuals. We have, we have double booked interpreters, so I'm going to release the one who is on court call. Yes, and then I'm not going to get on court call until we finish this, if that's okay. Thank you, sir. But I get paid. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Chi. My name is Sherry Merle. I'm the judge presiding in first appearances this afternoon, and we are getting ready to conduct your first appearance. Your Honor, Mr. Chi has been charged in two counts. First one being first degree murder. The allegation being that he did unlawfully, willfully, and feloniously with malice aforethought kill and murder Zhu Jie Yen. And second count is gun on educational property, allegation being he did unlawfully and willfully and knowingly possess a pistol, a nine millimeter handgun on educational property, that being UNC Chapel Hill campus. Um, Mr. Chi, you are charged with possession of a firearm on educational property, and he's charged with the possession, so that's a Class I felony. I believe that's a Class H, Your Honor. Just for transparency, Your Honor, as it's listed, sorry. Just to be transparent, Your Honor, it is listed on the warrant as the misdemeanor classification of that offense. Um, I realize for first appearances that's what we're with. I, I do, in good faith, believe that that is likely to be charged at a later stage, at the felony stage. But what it says on the warrant that I didn't draw up <laughs> says M. Um, sir, as your this court believes that it's a class I felony to possess on educational property and out of an abundance of caution, I'm going to um, tell him what the punishment is for that offense. If I'm wrong, it will be a lesser punishment, but the punishment uh, for a class I felony in North Carolina is a maximum punishment of 24 months in prison. Sir, you're also charged with first degree murder, which is a class A felony and carries a maximum punishment of death and a minimum punishment of life without parole. You have the right, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Interpreter. So the discovery is in September, I think I said 18th, I forgot what I said at the start. I'm curious about the discovery, what's going to be found on there. And I said, uh, I say, can't remember those people, involuntary celibates. I said that, but he might have been bullied. I don't Mr. Know. Maybe Chief, it's just you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say about the cases can be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. I am going to appoint the Capitol Defender's Office to represent you. They will assign a lawyer to represent you. Ms. Graves, who is standing with you today in this proceeding, is a lawyer with the Public Defender's Office. They will be working with the Capitol Defender's Office. Incel is what I was thinking. There's not enough to say incel, you know. I'm really curious to see what the discovery is going to bring. And it seems very personal between the two. I don't know. This professor, this person that he worked with, under or whatever, they criticize him. Do we need to address the issue of bond, Mr. DA? Well, just your honor, the state would ask. He is currently 
being held with no bond and, and the state asked the court not modify that condition at this time. I am going to, would you like to be heard, Ms. Graves? No, Your Honor. I'm going hmm. to leave the bond at no bond. She ain't got shit to say about it. You can't even defend that shit. But even this guy has an attorney, Sarah Boone, that uh, somehow got her boyfriend or, or, you know, I don't know, person that she was having relations with to get in a suitcase and lock him in there and leave him for dead. Nobody wants to work with her. None of the attorneys, I don't know how many, six, seven attorneys she's gone through. And do we need to set a date for a probable cause hearing? I am requesting a probable cause date. Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state would request... September 18th. That's Monday, September 18th. Um, we will set the probable cause hearing for Monday, September 18th. That's right before crime time, though. Hold on. Yeah, I can do it. It's the week before. Well, the week of. I'm curious. I'm curious to see. I Hopefully, I can remember this. Somebody remind me when the day comes. I'm just curious what they have for discovery. What 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 kind of? Um... Are there any other matters we need to address today with Mr. G? Not from the state. Not from the best matter. Today. Thank you. Oh, no, he can't walk. I was about to say, I thought he was trying to pull a limp. He ferries the shit? Mr. Chow, do oh. I need to sign anything for you? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Do you want to let folks come up and get these things out of here? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next live stream. If you could check out the PayPal link, please, I'd appreciate that. Whether if you can read the document, share it out, or donate. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Peace. Bye. Bloop, bloop.